After a good day of fossil hunting, but not actually finding many fossils at all, me and Shay decided to head down to the woods later that night and have a look at some of the best fossils that we've already got. Got some clips coming up of some really interesting and exciting ammonite fossils. Hope you enjoy it. Me and Shay have come out to the woods and we're going to show three of our favourite fossils. Three of our favourite ammonite fossils, that is. And they're all ammonites of the same species, but all preserved very differently. We've got a very, very big example of this species. We've got a multi-block example and also an example of one preserved within a golden nodule. And the species today is Elegantisaurus. It's one of our favourites. Let's have a look at the fossils we've brought with us. This is the first fossil, and this is the multi-block of the Elegantisaurus ammonites. So on this side, you can see the ammonites. There's quite a few of them, but they're all very worn. But it's been fully prepared from the other side. See, there's so many ammonites on this. This is one of the first multi-blocks we ever found. So that's the first side. Then if we turn it over, you can see all of the prepared fossils as well. So that is the fully prepared side. We absolutely love this fossil. Quite a few ammonites here, all different sizes as well. It's also some little shells and things washed amongst it. When we found it, we didn't expect this many to be inside, let alone this many perfect ammonites. So this is one we are very, very pleased with, one of the best in our collection. That was the first fossil. And now, the same species of that, we've got a much bigger example we've got here. This is probably the biggest we've got. Mostly 3D, completely 3D around the outermost wall. And then gets crushed in a little bit going in. And then the centre of the ammonite was never preserved. But to get one this big preserved so well is really unusual. Here's an ammonite, like the ones showing in this video, that's also absolutely massive. It's very similar to the size of the almost complete specimen that we've got with us at the woods. However, this one is a lot more crushed, whereas the one we have is a bit more 3D. But either way, this has been a massive Elegantisaurus ammonite. It's always a shame when they're crushed flat, but still nice to see. It's got lots and lots of little, um, presumably elegant Hisserus ammonites preserved underneath it as well. And bits of shells and things as well. Not too bad. And these are the two compared side by side enables you to really appreciate the difference in the size of them. And then the final fossil is one that's preserved within the golden nodule. So Shay's going to show you that one.
So here's one of our polished golden eggs. Naturally, when we find these, they're very grey and dull, but we actually polish these ourselves to look like this. As you can tell, they're very golden. And inside, some lovely little Elegantisserus ammonites. Here's the comparison of all three specimens. Which is your favourite? The golden egg. Yeah. Definitely. I think my favourite's probably this one. But they're all so different and unique. We'll struggle to find ones better than these. Yeah. So our best Elegantisserus multi-block, biggest Elegantisserus, one of the nicer little golden polished fossils. All in all, very pleased with those. Didn't find any new fossils today, however it's always nice to look at the ones you've already got. Hope you've enjoyed that video, something a little bit different to normal. Got a few more clips coming up of some nice trees, this time in daylight. Then we're going to open up some ammonites. That's all of the ammonites opened up for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, something a bit different to normal, and we will see you in the next one.
That's amazing.